I'm Aviation Consumers, Larry Anglisano, reporting for AvWeb here at AirVenture 2014, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. A new company called Aeroglass is here with the show. They've got the augmented reality glasses. Unlike a HUD, these offer a 360-degree 3D view. Here's Aeroglass's Cameron Clark. So we're very excited here to be at the Air Venture Show uh, in Oshkosh, and we're uh, showing off a brand new product. It's a brand new capability. It's using the Ep uh, Epson uh, Glass product, and uh, what, we're, what we're showing off is augmented reality. Everybody's familiar with virtual reality, but this is augmented reality. And augmented reality is an overlay of graphics on top of the real world, so pilots can actually look through the cockpit, and they, over they see the overlay of graphics of things like um, airspaces and navigation aids and geographic locations, their flight plans. So we think it's going to make the skies safer for, uh, for pilots. We started with Google Glass, and uh, what we found was that uh, since Google Glass has the optics off to the, uh, the right-hand side, it wasn't uh, really the full feature that we were looking for. So we partnered uh, with a company with Epson, and Epson has these uh, much more sophisticated uh, product that actually has uh, uh, bifocal lenses that allow the screen to be directly in front of you. So these glasses actually permit the pilot to for, for, uh, allow us to overlay directly on top of the uh, on top of reality the imagery that that we're trying to project. So this product actually, uh, as I said before, uh, displays uh, navigation aids and geographic locations, uh, ILS procedures, and in the future we'll have things like um, uh, takeoff procedures and uh, airspaces and, other t and obstacles and other, other more sophisticated capabilities. So the beauty of this product is the fact that you have glasses and they allow you to look around. We're familiar with uh, HUD displays, but the difference is that these have a 360 degree view, so anywhere you look, you have the perspective of, of overlaying the graphics on top of the, uh, of the terrain and on top of the skies around you. Um, that's, that, that, that's extremely powerful and it's very different from the fact that HUDs actually only allow you to look in the direction that the plane is flying. This improves your situational awareness and allows the pilot to have a much better, much better feel of the environment around them and it really um, operates in the way we live, we, we live our day-to-day -day lives and that's looking at, at objects around us. And we're just simply highlighting those, 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 those objects around us with the graphic overlays. And that creates safer skies for all pilots. So we started development about a year ago uh, on the Google Glass product, which a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, the problem with the Google Glass is it's only got the uh, computer screen on uh, the right-hand side, and so it doesn't really provide a full augmented reality experience. So recently we went to the Epson Movario BT200 product, and this product is actually pretty exciting. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, computer screens in on both sides, and so it provides a bifocal uh, uh, computer experience where literally the the screen, uh, the computer screen shows up directly in front of the pilot. So this product actually has a mouse pad and, uh, and CPU um, very similar to your cell phone with a lot of the same sensors and everything that your cell phone has. So it's, uh, it sells for $700 retail, which is half the price of the Google, uh, Google Glass product. But, we, uh, but our, our software works on both. In addition, we have a partnership uh, that we're very excited about with uh, Level. And so we resell the iLevel device for ADSB uh, traffic and weather and um, it also has more sophisticated GPS and uh, orientation sensors so it improves the, uh, Im improves the uh, 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 environmental situation up in, the, up in the cockpit. So we get a lot of questions about uh, folks that wear glasses and sunglasses so these uh, Epson, uh, this Epson BT200 uh, product actually has two types of sunglasses that overlay and snap in on top uh, so when the, when, the, when the sun is out and uh, for, the, for the folks that have glasses, we have these little uh, frames and they take them down to the optometrist and they have uh, glasses, uh, lenses fitted into them and then these simply snap right into the inside. So that's a great solution for those that, uh, that, that uh, require glasses. We're not ready for prime time, but we are signing up uh, uh, pilots that want to be early adopters and provide feedback for us uh, on, the, on the value of our products and uh, help us to enhance it. So we're building a community and we ask uh, pilots who are early adopters to come join our community, uh, be a part of our forum, and help uh, to improve our product. We expect to have a, a full release out uh, around the end of the year. So we're here, uh, excited to be here at the Oshkosh uh, 2014 show. We in invite everyone to come by our booth. We'll be happy to give you a demo. We're in Hangar A, booth 1110. And uh, for those of you that can't make it to the show, please check out our uh, website at www.glass.aero, A-E-R-O. And you can sign up for our beta program there and, or sign up for our newsletter and we'll keep you informed when the product goes live.